Hey, what's going on guys? This is Edgar with AE Timber and Pine. And in this video, I'm gonna take you step-by-step -step on how to add the Pledge of Allegiance into the American flag and get it carved on your CNC. I'm gonna take you step-by-step. -step. What I really like about this project is that it's going to get you a lot of practice on creating text and then taking that text and aligning it centrally. Centrally. What I really like about this project is that you're gonna get a lot of practice creating the text and then getting that centered within the stripes of the American flag. The principles really can apply to any project really if you're trying to center something within another vector let's say so if you have an image for example you want to center it within a square the same principles would be applicable that you're learning on this video with this particular pledge of allegiance flag project so just keep that in mind if you guys are getting value out of the content make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment below i do try to answer every single one of your comments with that being said guys let's go ahead and jump into the video all right guys so jumping into carbide create the very first thing that you're going to want to do is import your flag svg once you have it imported, go ahead and copy the very first stripe twice. And we're going to go ahead and put the very first stripe here on the top, just like that. And then we're going to take this other second stripe and we're going to attach it to the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and group everything. And then you're going to resize everything to fit the entire grid. I've already done that. So as you can see here with this stripe here, I'm pretty much covering the entire grid here up to its max. So go ahead and do the same thing with the dimensions that you're working with. Once that's all done, you can go ahead and deselect or ungroup everything. And we're gonna go ahead and delete this very last bottom stripe. Once that's deleted, we're gonna go ahead and fill in all this empty space here because the stripes of the flag are going to be pocketed, but we want the text to actually go in the non-pocketed stripes. So how do we get that? How do we get perfect alignment, perfect text size? What we need to do is create some stripes and put the text within those stripes. And eventually we'll just be left with the text by itself. So what we need to do is just create some stripes. Just go ahead and copy and paste until you have the whole flag filled in. When you're done with the short ones, you wanna make sure that you copy and paste the long stripes here at the bottom. Now with that completed, we wanna create some text. So come over here to the left-hand side and click on this T. It is the create text option. Go ahead and enter your text up here. For the Pledge of Allegiance flag and most of my texts, I like Times New Roman, but go ahead and pick the desired font that you like. I don't mess around with the font height, spacing, or alignment. We're gonna go ahead and keep that default. Go ahead and click done when you're ready. Once you have the text, you can go ahead and you can move it over here above the flag and we're going to resize it by clicking on the scale option. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna get these double arrows and we're gonna click on it and hold and then we're just gonna go ahead and drag it to make it bigger, just like that. Doesn't need to be exact right now. We're gonna continue to modify this. Once you've increased the size, go ahead and make sure it's still selected. Hold shift and click on the very top stripe. And we're going to click on the align vectors option. We're going to make sure to align horizontally and vertically. And now our text is centered within the stripe. I actually like that size right there. If it was too small or too big, I would resize it. But this size actually is working out just fine. So I'm going to continue to go on. Now with this first line completed, I need to go on to the next strip. You may be thinking, well, I'll just repeat that process by clicking on the text option, create the next line and just resize it. But the issue that you're gonna run into is not being able to get the same size text every single time. It's gonna be difficult or nearly impossible to get the exact same size every single time. My recommendation is simply to copy and paste the text and double click on the text and now edit the text here. And this is going to ensure that the text is the same size every single time. So let's go ahead and enter the next line. Now you're gonna repeat the process. Make sure that the text is selected Hold shift, go ahead and click on the next line where the text is supposed to go. We're gonna go ahead and click on the line vectors and we're going to align horizontally and vertically. And there you go. Now the text is centered within this next stripe. And we're gonna go ahead and do it again. We're gonna copy the text, we're gonna paste it, and we're gonna double click on the text. And now we're going to enter the next line. And we're gonna continue this process throughout the entire flag. So let's go ahead and do that now. that is how you add the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. What we need to do now is now we need to come back and delete these extra stripes that are not going to be pocketed. So let's just do that now. All right, and so now what you need to do is set up your toolpath. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So again, I like to set up my toolpath in groups. So we're gonna do the stripes first. The stripes are gonna be carved with an advanced V carve. Go ahead and select them, use current selection, and I'm going to enable the pocket tool area. Uh, my plunge and feed rate are going to be 80, 90. RPM is 18,000. 
the 60 degree V bit will come in and clean everything up. And again, it's going to be 80, 90 for the plunge and feed rate, RPM at 18,000. The max depth is going to be 0.04. Go ahead and name it if you'd like. The next group is going to be the text. I'm going to do a simple V carve. For this example, I'm going to use a 60 degree V bit. In the actual video that I'm showing you, I used a 90 degree V bit and it didn't turn out really well, but I would change this and I'm going to show you guys with a 60 degree V bit. I'm going to change my plunge and feed rate again to 80, 90 RPM at 18,000. My max depth is going to be stock bottom and you can just name this text. I'm going to use a V curve on my stars, but the reason why it is a separate tool path than the text is because I'm going to reset my Z zero above the union area or within the union area. So go ahead and do that. That is my recommendation. And we're going to do a V carve again, and we're going to edit this to have a plunge and feed rate of 80, 90 RPM at 18,000. And the max depth is going to be stock bottom and you can rename this if you'd like. So now let's go ahead and click on the simulation and this is what we should get for our final outcome. Let's go ahead and send this off to the machine. Keeping in mind though that I did use a 90 degree V bit and based on the size of this flag, I think the 60 degree V bit would have been better. But let's just go ahead and take a look at it anyways.